Right, so um, I've called in some favors from a neighbor and we are just going to pull the Rio to another spot because we want to take our tank off now, it's loose, we've cut all the pieces off you can see there's a whole pile of stuff lying there u bolts are finally off so we're just going to move it to another spot <laughs> One of our able assistants driving a truck. <laughs> uh, Debbie's asking, is that good? Alright, so the plan is to attach the tractor with a chain to the actual tank. There we go. And pull it off. It should be fun. Let's see how it goes. Here goes, let's tighten up the chain and see what happens next. We put blocks behind the wheels so the truck should stay and let's see. There we go, we're starting to move. Yeah, looking pretty good, looking very good. There we go. Look good. There we go. Slowly now, starter. And there she goes. Ah. Ah. It's off. We're trying to push the truck forward some so that the tank can drop. I don't think it's going to work. We're going to just pull it with the tractor quickly. Okay, we're busy attaching the tractor to the front of the Rio. Nice strong chain of course, you can see the guys are still busy there. And then we're just going to pull the rear forward. So that the tank that's almost off can just drop down. Chain is tight. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> so it's not dropping. Okay, but the truck is clear at least. Voila. There we go. Eh? Hey, Jason, check that. Yeah, beautiful. Now we've got something we can work with. Right, quick walk through, chassis or truck frame exposed, looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Um, the differential, a bit of sweating, not too concerned about it. It up. But yes, I think we've got a pretty good base to start working with, hey Jason, what do you think? I think it's great. Yeah. Fantastic. Love it.
Okay, tank is off. And um, we're going to now take the truck down to my workshop. As you can see, I've got many able assistants today. Neighboring farmers is interested to see what's happening with this beautiful old truck. So there we go. I didn't really have any brakes, so <laughs> now on the back, on the back, on the quad, this is our back brake. I don't really think he will keep the truck once it wants to go, but this is just a temporary measure for now. It's slowly coming out of the field, so we're going to haul it up to this flat part of the road then tie the truck to the back of it to act as a brake because we have to go down the field so the one by itself that we need that truck in the back to act as a brake So yes, we're just going to turn the truck around, pull it back in here, make the three-point turn so that we can go down the hill, nose first. Right, down the hill we go, lots of horsepower and a tractor, it's going to be our brake. And down the hill she comes, guys are taking it slowly. Truck doesn't have any brakes, so we've got the fourth tractor braking us. Here she comes. So I built a temporary road here through the pine forest, especially for Rio, and she's going to come down the road. She's going to probably stop her here for now. And it's right next to my shop. And then, uh, yeah, yes, Jason is coming with some uh, handbrakes. <laughs> and then she's going to stand here for a while. Until we've done a bit of work and cleaning up. And then I'll probably take her into the shop. Okay, this is the last shift. I'm going to be running out of storage on my cheap little phone very shortly. But yes, here we go. Almost there. Net is off or no? Nog a bikki? Nog a bikki, nog a bikki, nog a bikki. Right, so just to recap, successful morning. The tanker is off the back of the Rio. The Rio has been moved and it's now much closer to my shop. Look at all the shit lying in the front here. But yeah, that's how it goes. So this is a temporary resting place. Um, I've just got to sort out some stuff down there and then we'll probably push her in there under the roofs so we can start working on this can't call it a baby can we on this mother <laughs> at some point